at the height of my active law practice. And so, uh, indeed, there is a ground. Mr. President. Just a minute. May I request the lawyer to not to interrupt this court? I'm sorry, Mr. President. Yes. Please sit down, Mr. Counsel. There must be an order in a courtroom. You can rise after the presiding officer in the court has spoken. Now, uh, there's a motion to cite a member of the prosecution panel for contempt, and that motion is duly seconded, and it cannot be set aside. And indeed, the person concerned was given a chance to explain what he did and why he did it. And he openly admitted in court that he did it purposely because he felt offended. And so, therefore, it was a sign of his disrespect to a member of this court, and that cannot be allowed to pass. And it must be dealt with accordingly, according to the, accord, according to the rules applicable in this particular circumstance. And so, therefore, what is the pressure of this uh, court? I am not the court. I want the pressure of this court. Mr. President, I have uh, seconded the motion of the Honorable Miriam Defensor Santiago, and I believe um, our colleagues are uh, all supporting this motion, Mr. President. Any uh, ob objection to the motion? Hearing none, is there anyone in the uh, def uh, prosecution that would like to ma make a statement? Yes, Mr. President. Precisely, I wanted to uh, rise earlier, and I'm sorry for the interruption, because on okay. behalf of the prosecution, we would like to express our regrets for what happened to the Honorable Court, especially to the lady from Iloilo, for what uh, happened. The uh, private prosecutor is under our control, so we feel that we have to express our regrets, Mr. President. Yes. The prosecution panel, like the provincial or city fiscal in the prosecution service of the government, is always in control of the case of the government against an accused. A private prosecutor cannot do anything without the control of the uh, pr prosecution panel. And uh, it was your responsibility to uh, see to it that the private prosecutors that you bring into this courtroom to assist you in the prosecution of this impeachment trial will carry themselves according to the norms of the profession and the uh, conduct that they ought to practice inside a courtroom. So, would you, uh, given your apology, we'll accept it, but nonetheless, we will enforce respect to this court. And so, if there's no uh, objection to the motion of the lady senator from Iloilo, and seconded by the lady senator from Taguig, the gentleman who is a member, or the uh, private member of the prosecution panel is hereby cited for contempt. And the penalty that will be meted by this court against him will be taken up in a caucus by this court uh, next week. Mr. President. Thank you. From here on, all, mem all concerned must uh, take note of this. We will no longer tolerate a misbehavior like this. If you want to participate in this proceeding, we are welcome. But if you do not believe in the dignity of this court or its jurisdiction over you, if you think that you are better than us, 
are lost lawyers, you are better than us. Well, we are entitled to your opinion, but we will enforce the rules of procedures that are applicable in a court like this. So ordered. Mr. President. <coughs> Mr. President. Majority Floor Leader. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Related to that, uh, I move that the caucus of the uh, Senate as an impeachment court be moved on Tuesday at 12 noon. Any objection? Hearing none, the motion of the Majority Floor Leader is approved. Also, Mr. President, um, may I move that the um, Senate legislative uh, session which is scheduled on Tuesday at 9 o'clock in the morning, be moved to 3 o'clock in the afternoon. On that same day, so. Tuesday. After the call, Mr. President. Tuesday. The Chair Hishnan, the motion of the Dirty Floor Leader in moving the legislative session of the Senate in the morning to the afternoon of Tuesday is approved. Thank you. Mr. President, um, Acting on the request of the prosecution, a subpoena ad testificandum et duces tecum was issued to Attorney Harry Roque, to of the U Attorney Harry Roque of the UP Law Center on February 27. Yesterday, the prosecution filed a motion to withdraw the subpoena issued to Attorney Roque for the information of the court. Noted. Also, may we place on record the explanation of vote of Senator uh, Fang, pa, Francis Pangilinan on the resolution of the impeachment court of the issuance of subpoena to Associate Justice of the, of the Supreme Court, Mr. President. I so move that <coughs> placed on record. The vote, the uh, explanation of vote be placed on record, Mr. President. Noted. Mr. President, uh, may I ask the Sergeant of Times to make an announcement? The Sergeant of Times may now make an announcement. Please all rise. All persons are commanded to remain in their places until the Senate President and the Senators have left the session hall. Mr. President, I move that we adjourn until 2 o'clock of Monday, March 12, 2012. Is there any objection? The Chair hears none. The trial of this impeachment case against the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court will be adjourned until 2 o'clock in the afternoon of Monday, March 12, 2012.